Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kenna and I'm a Cameroonian YouTuber based in Douala, Cameroon. Today I'm doing part two of my pregnancy level and delivery story so today i'm talking about the delivery story of my daughter how i had my daughter how the pregnancy went how i found out and all that first of all i've been looking for work guys i've been looking for work for a long time and it wasn't forthcoming so i discussed to my husband away like that for us to keep looking and nothing is coming let's be trying let's try to have a baby kaden had just turned one so i'm like okay let's be trying to have this baby if the work comes first fine if the baby comes first fine and i was doing this because a lot of people had told me that they stressed a lot to have the second baby like that to try so many times before they had the baby so in my head i was like okay since kaden is one maybe if we start trying now maybe by the time that kaden is like one and a half one year eight months that's when i was going to get pregnant but guys as we started trying on that first month i got pregnant and i think i found out i was pregnant like two weeks into the pregnancy because since i was since we were trying i was very particular i knew everything about my cycle and all that so when my period was like two weeks later i was just like oh gone i went and did the test did the test and yeah i was pregnant so yeah i told my husband and we're like yay baby number two on its way what were my signs and symptoms guys for monique i was generally really weak the first three months i was like i didn't feel like myself for the first three months i was so lazy is it lazy or weak i don't know which one to put but i was just like i just get up in the morning i make my husband breakfast he goes to work and i just sit on the couch guys and i sit there for the entire day till he comes back and i go or get up try to cook come back and just sit there i wasn't feeling fine at all i was just sleeping i was just weak like i was weak i did not have any appetite nothing was tasting good in my mouth and then i was having nausea like the worst ill like oh i had horrible nausea it was not nice at all and then smells used to irritate me something that didn't happen for Caden like the symptoms for Monique were completely different from that for Caden for Monique oh smells used to affect me a lot like you could be standing like 20 steps away and I'm smelling you I smell I could sit and smell what all the neighbors were cooking and oh my god my cravings I could eat the whole of Africa I was eating after after the first um trimester the second trimester i started catching up all the eating that i had not done for the first trimester i started eating and then for the pregnancy mask yeah the mask came pretty late so i was excited all through my pregnancy i'm like oh my god check me out i was claiming you know that kind of sexy pregnant woman look at you oh my god look at me i'm so sexy <laughs> the mask did not come first trimester second trimester even when i was like seven months pregnant the mask was not there guys then came the eighth month huh what <laughs> oh my god like the mask just came in like whoop i just became black kenna all of a sudden i was my beautiful big nose just came back like whoop i'm back my little cute baby bomb just became like oops and i was like <laughs> how does this happen like when did this happen so yeah those are my signs and symptoms so let's go into the story proper my labor and delivery story okay guys like i said for my first child my husband wasn't around because he was writing his exams and coincidentally the second time too the doctor gave me a date a due date and my due date happened to be the same date that my husband was supposed to travel so i was just like this cannot be happening again i will not have my second child with my husband not around so i went and met my doctor and i was like doctor are you sure i'll give birth on this exact day the doctor was like the way everything is going it shows that i might give birth on that day so i was just like you know what i want to induce this baby i want to have this baby when my husband is here i don't want to sit and start doing try and error with no i'm not ready for that so the doctor and myself did an arrangement for me to have the baby before my husband 
travel so we said i was going to give birth on the 7th of march so what we had to do was i was going to come on the seat and sleep in the hospital because he said to induce the pregnancy they do it early in the morning so that you could level for the whole day during the day when all the staff is there and all that so i was like okay good idea good and fine so on that seat in the evening we left packed my bag i went to the hospital i got to the hospital and um yeah we slept slept got up the next morning by 4 p.m the next morning that was on the 7th the nurse came in and she said we should come in so that she should put a tablet down there for the induction so we went in and she put the tablet that one pin anything like that one really really small thing she just stepped it inside and she was like okay go don't eat anything heavy drink just milk and because we don't want you pooping when you're trying to give birth so just do that and we're like okay fine i'm saying we because i was in the room i was in the same room with this other lady who was also pregnant she was having her first baby so we're inducing together so we go back to our room and we sit down i was there with my mom and the other lady was there with her own mother also my mom and my aunt so we went down we sat down and we're waiting guys 5 a.m. nothing 6 a.m. nothing 7 by 6 30 that other lady she starts I, 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 I'm feeling pain. I. okay I was there like so house has kicked in and I'm still here 7 a.m. mine wasn't still coming and by 8 my husband now comes and he came to check on me and my pain has started just a little and my parents were like you like to play too much because guys i was taking selfies <laughs> i don't even know where those pictures are like i was busy taking selfies i was busy chatting with my friends discussing and i was just laughing ah, and joking and playing and my mother got upset and she's like stop this thing your maid there has has already her level has already kicked in because she's serious you you're there joking chatting drop that phone lie down so that pain should come so by the time my husband was coming the pain had just started I was like, I, I, and then he, he's like, um, no, he said, let him rush to his office because the, the hospital where I was was not too far from. Excuse that sound, that's the sound of his account. They're coming to carry dirt. Okay, so he's like, um, let him run to his office and collect something he's coming back now he'll, he'll be right back if the labor intensifies when he's not back i should call him <coughs> like 30 minutes later the labor came in guys and it was like 10 minutes 10 minutes 10 minutes i was in pain guys anybody who has gone through induced labor like hmm, i clap for you it is not easy inducing labor jesus it is painful like the pain i felt was like 15 times more than what i felt for kids it was really really painful and it doesn't give you a chance to breathe like the pain is just like as you're trying to rest it comes back as you're trying to rest it comes back so i was just like oh i can't breathe oh my god my mom will rub my back like i was feeling pain like they're pressing i was feeling pain all over like i i hear here like i just want to jump in a bowl of ice and just sleep in there because my entire body was paining i was just there screaming for like 30 minutes i now took the phone i called my husband and i'm like the labor has started so start coming because i had told him that i want him to be in the labor room the delivery room with me when it got to like one hour of the labor i was feeling unimaginable pain then the contractions were coming like after every 30 sec 30 seconds like i could not breathe i was like jesus it got to a point that i felt like throwing up my eyes were turning i felt like pooping throwing up i felt like doing all those things at once and i'm telling my mother i want to pee she should take me to the toilet i was just screaming and i'm like oh my god this is really painful like what is going on i, I didn't feel normal at all and my mother was like she knows me she knows that i can handle pain if i'm really crying this much it means it's really painful and it's not normal so she kept talking to the, the 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 midwife and she's like you should check her she was like i know my daughter kenna can sustain pain if kenna is crying this much it means that it is serious so the midwife was just pulling her body she just came in and she was like okay come go to the labor room go and lie down there i went and lay down guys she was talking the midwife she was really slow because she's like your labor just started you probably already getting excited that you give birth now i've said you cannot give birth now 
So she was busy wearing her gloves and talking with one of her colleagues that was sitting just near me. And she was like, she was just discussing, taking her time. So by the time she finished her discussion and then she, she bent down now to see how dilated I was, guys. As she was trying to send her hand, my water just burst in her face like poof. <gasps> and I was like, oh my God. Like, midwives, you guys try. Like, ew. <laughs> Even though it was from my body, I'm like, oh my God, what? Ooh. Like, mm -mm. the midwife said, thumbs up to you guys. It's not easy. Like, she just tried, took something, wiped her face, she started screaming, she's like, Madam, close your legs, the baby is coming. Started calling all the nurses, everybody should come home, the baby is coming. Put things together, they were running, call her doctor, call, everybody was just running up and down, they put everything, and she's like, if you push, Madam, if you just cough, even that baby will come out, I can see the head, so you just have to be patient. She put everything together, and... I just looked like this because out of the door you could see I saw my mom and my aunt and they were there doing Ramashaka Lakashaka and they were like Jesus she will give birth like they were just praying I sat there and when they finished doing all the arrangements she's like okay next contraction you push so I pushed the first time guys that is when I knew the difference between a boy and a girl Monique came out like you know like I'm making a grand entrance Kaden popped out Monique I push the first push, her head comes out, and she's like, okay, hello world, ah, the pain, then she now sends her one shoulder, sends the other shoulder, I was screaming like the whole hospital could hear me, I was like, what? <laughs> I pushed three times, guys, and she came out, I didn't have any stitches whatsoever, no, I had no stitches for Monique. They just went and they took her, put her on my chest, and they were like, oh, your baby, she's so cute, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, welcome, baby. You're so beautiful. Look at you. Look at you. And they carried her and they went and they were cleaning her up. So I'm like, why are you people not telling me the sex of the baby? Is it a boy? <laughs> Is it a boy? Because I have seen so many scenarios where the doctor says it's a boy, it's a girl, and then it becomes a boy. So I'm like, is it a boy? Why are you people not telling me? is it a boy and the doctor was like no it's a girl everything is okay your baby is fine they cleaned her up came gave me gave her to me i carried her kissed her and then the doctor was going out and the doctor my husband says when the doctor was coming out to give my mother the baby he was just walking in at that time and the doctor was just like you can carry your baby so he just carried her and that was the story. After that, I they just cleaned me up, took out the placenta. It wasn't a big deal. I just cleaned me up, took out the placenta. 15 minutes later, took me to my room. And guys, in less than two hours, I was walking. I was fine. Like, I didn't give birth. It's just that I was a little tired. I just slept. And that was it. Like, that is my labor and delivery story for my daughter. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video let me know your experiences in the comment section give me more video suggestions i love when you guys keep suggesting video um, videos to me thank you for watching and please if you did not subscribe just subscribe before you go thanks for watching and i hope to see you next time love you